Hey folks, welcome back. We're back up in the cabin. It's Thursday, February 1st, 2018. About 3.24 p.m. in the afternoon Alaska time. You're listening to My Alaskan Backyard with Greg. I'm your host, Greg. And I'm going to show you what's what we see from this side of the fence. And today's topics, of course, are going to be uh, State of the Union Address and Pound Sign Release the Memo. I'll give you my take on, on uh, what I think is going down. And we may pop around on some websites and look around some let some stuff. We may not, who knows. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back, and we'll get right into it. And we're back, folks. Well, good afternoon. Let's get right into it. Okay, last night we saw the president make his first State of the Union address. And boy, it didn't disappoint. I really enjoyed uh, listening to him. I think he's a good speaker to start with. And uh, I like hearing about what's been accomplished so far and where we're going. But boy, man, you could tell the, the damn tars are just <laughs> going insane. You know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't applaud for, for anything. They wouldn't stand up to honor, you know, the parents of, of two uh, slain uh, girls who were uh, killed by MS-13 members. You know, they just, but they did. They were. They did bring some illegal aliens with them, you know. So they've got that to to uh, help them out now. And let's see what's going to happen here in a few days. But uh, the next thing is probably what are we going to do about this release the memo. All day today, I've, all I've been hearing is about the FBI threatening the president and, and the FBI saying, well, if you release this memo, uh, our top people are going to resign and all that stuff. And, and it's like, uh, why aren't you guys in prison already? Why haven't you been, why are you still drawing a paycheck? You guys actively plotted and carried out an almost successful coup against the elected president of the United States. You used f fake, made-up shit to go to the FISA court and get surveillance uh, started on the Trump Towers. You surveil uh, every mem member of the Trump uh, team, the transition team, all of them, and probably Trump himself all based on some fucking phony ass shit 
and the fact that you guys wanted Hillary Clinton to be your president. Well, you know, the American people chose differently, and now you, you're going to go and try and pull a coup on us? You know, you're going to go do this shit, and then when you get caught, you, you try and, and keep the American people from seeing the evidence. You know, this stuff, this is getting insane. Somebody's got to do something about this stuff. And what I see coming down the pike is if they don't release that memo tomorrow, and why Trump and them are waiting so long, I, I, I can only think is that they're, they're trying to give somebody some cover. This should have been released uh, before the State of the Union address, not be sitting on and waiting on it, this stuff. You know, Trump needs to stop listening to those dumbasses that are telling him to make nice with the Democrats and kiss the deep state's ass. You know, he should be rounding these motherfuckers up. Use the military if you have to. You know, send a fucking Marine Expeditionary Force over to the FBI building and capture the son of a bitch and take those fucking traitors. And that's what they are. They were traitors. They tried a coup against an elected, democratically elected American uh, president. Them motherfuckers need to hang for that shit. Not uh, retire and march and draw your freaking fucking pension for the rest of your life. No, that, that ain't going to suffice. The people that are involved in this stuff need to be prosecuted and convicted and sent to prison. You know? This is almost comes... This is treason. It's treason what they did. And they should be executed for it. You know, but this is America. We don't execute people like that. There's fucking people sitting on death row in America that have been there 20 freaking years. It's not something that we do lightly. You know, so these guys that were willing to nullify the election, totally nullify the election with this fake shit. Not only that, they made sure that the Democratic candidate, Hillary Clinton, who was caught red-handed fucking <laughs> selling influence, committing federal crimes with her server and her emails on, on a massive scale, getting away with it scot-free because they put the fix in for her. The FBI put the fix in and the Justice Department put the fix in. Oh, no, no, we're not going to, we're not going to, uh, you know, take any steps against this bitch because she may be our next president. You know, so therefore, she can do whatever she wants. What does that show you? That shows you there's two tiers of justice in America. There's tier number one is for the black people, the brown people, the yellow people, the poor white people, the middle class people of all races, and then the, uh, Second tier is the, for the elites, the Democratic uh, Party members, and uh, the ri the very rich people. You don't never see none of the only person that I've ever seen that was rich that went to jail was Martha Stewart, and she went to jail for what? For telling a lie to the FBI. Well, that lie just turned out to be the same thing that this that they did for one of those Trump dudes. They, they, got, they, they charged him with lying because she forgot that she said something. And she was making a disposition to him. And she said something that contradicted what she'd earlier said or, or whatever. But it wasn't, nothing, it wasn't nothing to do with any crime. It just had to do with, with her not remembering. Well, gee, Hillary Clinton doesn't remember a whole lot of shit about, about anything that she's been shown to be involved in murder. She's been shown to be involved in fucking uh, selling arms. You know, same thing with Obama. They've been shown, it's been shown over and over and nothing ever happens. If they don't do something about this crap, they're, they're going to have no credibility whatsoever among the American people. No one is going to believe any fucking thing they say. The press is already like that. 
it's, everyone's about had it with the press, you know. You hear something and then you wait one day, two days, three days to see whether whether it'll stick or whether it's really true. And a lot of times it turns out that, well, they, the our confirmed sources are kind of backing off now and uh, they made it all up to start with, you know. But you don't know as, as, as the guy out there, as Joe Public. So, what, why would you believe anything that the federal government told, tells us? Especially the FBI, you know. They lost all credibility. They used the fake, made up shit about some guy pit, having prostitutes piss on a bed. They used that to, as part of their FISA warrant, you know. If you're this stuff should just make steam come out of your ears, people. I mean, I can't believe it doesn't. You know, well, I think it's making everybody mad. It's just a, it's that the the press is so far in the pocket of, of of the Democratic Party and the far left that uh, you'll never hear anything. So you got to go other places. Go to alternate media. You know, use use the internet. Find out for yourself if you have questions about things. You know, uh, boy, it's, it's just crazy. So what you need to do, what, what we all should do, is just keep keep up this release the memo pressure. You know, if you can, because if they don't release that memo and they st stifle this stuff. Uh, you basically have no America anymore. You know, your country is gone. The, cons the Constitution is just a piece of paper to wipe your ass with then, you know. Uh, so don't feel any pressure to be loyal to America anymore. If this stands, it proves that uh, the corruption is so bad that we're gonna have to rise up and revolt. You know, I hate to say that, but, you know. Where, what else can we do? Can we hit, can we live in a two-tiered justice system? You guys that enforce the law, you know, you guys that aren't in on the big payoffs and the and the uh, you know the political shenanigans in Washington D.C. You, know, you signed up to, to protect the population, the population to do good work, not to not to be par a party that to to this kind of uh, criminal activity. I know you didn't. I know too many of you dudes. You know, I know ex sheriffs, of active duty people. Uh, you know, you guys didn't sign up for that. The FBI agents didn't. That's not part of what you what you, what you hold dear. So if you. If, if nothing's done about this, you from inside are going to have to do something. You know, you're going to have to take these guys out because, you know, the whole nation is dependent on it. You know, America, it will cease to exist if this stands without resolution. You know, and I'd be saying the same thing if I found out that Trump had did this to Hillary Clinton. You know, even though I despise the bitch, but I'll tell you what, we can't have these government agencies walking over the Constitution and over people's Americans' rights and using the powers that we give them to keep us safe from foreign uh, uh, aggression against us, against us. You know, that, that can't be allowed to continue on. So, uh, that's, about, that's about all for today. I'm not going to go and pull up all that all these different things to show you people. You know what's going on. You, you've seen it before. You know what's happening. So, I'm gonna uh, wrap this up, and let's see here. Well, maybe we'll look at Facebook one, one last time. And what do we see here? Let's reload the page. And let's check it out. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing that 
that pressing. And if you if re, really people, if you if you go if you go to Facebook for your for your news and information source, you probably need mental health. You know, I would use. You find out you might get a, a trickle of something on on, on on a topic on there that's interesting. Then do your own research, man. I mean, the internet is like being able to go to the Library of Congress from your desktop. You know, there's so many reference, so much material and references out there that you can you can trace down and stuff. You know, and. <laughs> Should Obama get his own monument? Uh, they could rename a prison after him, maybe. That'd be nice. Uh, what is this? Wrong names only. Well, let's see. You know, it's hard to think think in weird terms when you know something, you know, about a piece of equipment or something. See, that's what they're saying. Let me see if I can make this full screen here. So we can see stuff. And let me see here. Uh, well, evidently not in this mode. I can't do it. So I'll have to do it over here. Let's just grab this. Uh, okay. Okay. I use like couple different operating systems so sometimes I get confused on which one I'm I'm working on okay so there 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 you can see it there what is this long names only well I'll tell you what the right name is that that's buffer and buffer spring out of a, a uh, probably an AR 15 or an M16 I could dish more on Just because him, that's one of the re the bad things about the fucking Democrats and Republicans both. The older families that got money feel that they're entitled, just because their daddy or their brother became president, or they're entitled to be president too. We're not a fucking monarchy, you know. This is an ancient Rome and you motherfuckers just are not the Praetorians. You know, you don't get to rule over us unless we elect you to do something. And then you're responsible for us, to us, not us to you. Pretty fucking pathetic piece of shit. Okay. Share to every liberal. Well, every liberal knows this stuff. They know it. Thing is that some of the Democrats don't know it, you know. The last, I'll go, I guess, 12 or 15 years have, have been kind of an awakening for some Democrats and some Republicans. Finally realizing that a lot of, a lot of on both sides are, act, are actually not in it for the people of the nation at all. They're, they're, they're these globalist elitists. You know, they're in for, uh, for themselves and that's about it. Everybody's throwing their shoes. They're throw, showing shoes. Well, that's real effective. Make you feel good. Once you go all sing Kumbaya out in the parking lot. Guys, now pop me on. You gotta excuse me, folks. I'm eating a donut. I know that's bad form. But I was hungry. They shot each other in the fucking head over an internet challenge. Now, if that ain't Darwinism at work, I don't know what the fuck is. Excuse my language. Ah, oh, let's get coffee. Donut and coffee on a below sub-zero afternoon in Alaska up on the mountain here. We've had... We've had nonstop wind for about 
eight days now. And the daytime is it's averaging, I'd say 25, 30 knots steady with like 35 mile an hour gusts. At nighttime, it jumps up to double that. I mean, we'll, we'll be laying up around in the house here, upstairs in bed, and you'll hear wham! If something blows into the side of the, of the a wave of air hits the side of the building. Uh, in order to get to sleep, I gotta put the earplugs in. Reba can get can get through it, but I, the noise just keeps me up, so I usually just put the earplugs in. The thing is, this will go for two weeks, two weeks solid at least, maybe three weeks, and then it'll it'll cloud up again and get warmer and snow. So, the thing you guys got got to know about Alaskan winter. It does get windy in certain places. Here's an example. Well, Bobby says she's she has to show her she's afraid that she's going to have to show her ID to get laundry detergent if these morons keep keep eating eating soap powder. So, I'm of the opinion that we should just let them let them eat it and we should issue a no resuscitation or order. You know, we need to let natural selection and, you know, whatever plan God has for the evolution of our our race to continue on. This is a good thing that these idiots are eating eating self poisoning their cells. It's it's evolution sped up. It's it's only gonna result in the outcome is only gonna be good for what's let what what people are left here. We'll cleanse ourselves of a lot of the fucking crazy morons out there. Legal, legal immigration, yeah. Yeah, watch next week. I think uh, next Friday is when the, the uh, jig is up for the uh, continuing resolution. Watch that. Watch and see what happens then. <laughs> oh, it gets me. What? What? Why is Trump listening to these dumb motherfuckers? And and why is the Senate Majority Leader, which is named McConnell, why is he not taking this opportunity to do, do the nuclear option and get a three or four year budget? Then they don't have to deal with these dickfurs till the next general election, right? They've gotten rid of the issue. They can't do nothing about it once it's passed. That would be awesome. You know, and if Trump keeps on winning like he's, win he's winning so far, in four years, hell, we may be in such great shape, we might not need Trump to stick around. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> I, can't, uh, I just don't see what the what the problem is in there, you know. Use the nuclear option, pa pass a four-year budget, at least a four-year budget. Now, you can't pass, it may may just have to be a two-year budget because because of the, the turnover in Congress and stuff. A lot of congressmen and senators aren't going to want to lock into something they can't renegotiate on a yearly basis or something. So at least... The, I think if we could get like a two-year, a two-year thingy, you know, a budget, then the military would love that because then they could plan their ops and then they could plan their training, and they'd have guaranteed money for this, that, and the other, you know, and everybody else would too. But the see, the thing is that there there was actually an agreement and a signed budget that went uh, two, three years, maybe four years. These morons would have no power, and they're never gonna they're never gonna allow that. They, the, all communists are the same. Once they're in power, they don't leave. And these guys are basically communists, or worse yet, they're elitists pretending to be communists, using the the fools that uh, vote for them. Let's start. Oh, I'm eating the donut again. Sorry, folks. Mm. 
more, more bullshit and bullshit. Even more. These people. I watched that show, the yeah, State of the Union, and the ABC. The, the feed that I was watching, I, I think, was uh, an ABC feed. They have, and for those of you of you who aren't familiar with uh, television production or propaganda, or how to produce propaganda, let me enlighten you to some to what they were doing, okay? What they would do on the ABC feed is they had a camera on a, on a uh, rail system. It was either a rail or some type of dolly system that was running up and down the aisle facing, so you can see the backs of the heads of, of people on the Democratic side. It was, they never showed the Republican side. It was always the Democratic side. This is ABC. Then their wide shot angle, the wide angle shot that they used, uh, made sure that you could see one side jump up and the other side sit still. You know, there was a demarcation line in between the two houses, where the Democrats were and where the Republicans were, and then you could see on top of everything you could see uh, the gallery. And it was just amazing how they used different angles to uh, manipulate how people were going to perceive what was said. But there hasn't been any, that's another topic for another night. There hasn't been any, any true journalism in quite a while on either side, actually. You know, when I was a journalist, uh, we were taught, uh, uh, there was you got the five W's: who, what, where, when, and why. And if your story didn't contain uh, all five of those, it was a piece of crap story. Now you know, and we didn't do we we didn't uh, pass off as, as reality stuff like, oh, uh, Bill Bill said that he thought the Earth was purple. And so now, now uh, our headlines wouldn't wouldn't be screaming. According to, according to an unnamed source, the Earth is purple. And that's what they're doing now. It's just, it's just insane. All right, well, that's about eh, that's about all of that crap you take, huh, folks? All right. Well, I thank you for sh showing up. I thank you for listening to my rants. I hope you learned something. Uh, probably didn't. Maybe you did. I, I don't know. But uh, I enjoy doing this stuff. If you like this, down at the bottom there, there should be a subscribe button. If you're seeing this on YouTube, go clicky clicky. And then right next to it, if you want to see when any new stuff comes out, there's a little bell icon. You know, clicky, clicky on that. Now, I ain't got around yet to putting banners up the top of my my uh, thingy here and all the little graphics that you see on other people's channels, like with pointers, point to here, subscribe to there, and little, little big things here, little big things there. I'll get around to doing that sometime in the future. So for now, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, hit subscribe. I'll leave the comments uh, there if you got something good to, good to tell me. Maybe like, uh, hey, you like the lighting or, or, or hey man, the, the sound bumped out at this, at, at this time, time unit, you know, or the editing needs to be tightened up here or there or whatever. I'd appreciate that because I'm, I'm a struggling filmmaker just like most of you guys on YouTube are. I don't, I don't just normally do this type of show. I like to do other things. I like to do other topics, and other production stuff. I do aerial production stuff. I do all kinds of different stuff. And this is just another experiment to get me through the winter. 
so I don't go insane in the, in the cabin up here at 40 below zero in the dark. Okay, so uh, that's about all we got for now. Take care. Bye.